we're going to be talking about our automation rules. Unlike our lists and our segmentation rules, our automation rules are going to be found in marketing, automation, and then automation rules. So automation rules are repeatable. It's criteria-based rules that find matching prospects and apply actions to them. So again, it will always stay running in the background, looking for prospects that match the criteria, and then it will apply the action to those prospects. So let's go ahead and add automation rules. I'm just gonna name this demo. And a new feature within automation rules that I think it's just been a couple of months now that it was released through Pardot is to repeat rule. So basically for the repeatable rules, let's just say for instance that a prospect, we're doing a status change on a prospect. And let's say 30 days from now, a prospect still matches these rules. So say they were cold for 30 days, it will go ahead and change their status to whatever that action was again. So let's do our demo and we'll do demo status change. You'll notice that the match type is very similar to our dynamic list and for our segmentation rules. We can either add a new rule or add a new rule group. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new rule and my rule will be prospect time, last activity is greater than 30 days and we wanna look for prospect email opens has not opened any emails in the last 30 days. So what we're doing is we're going to change the status of a prospect if their activity was greater than 30 days ago and they didn't open an email within the last 30 days. So what I'm going to do for an action is I want it to change their prospect status or their Salesforce status um, in Salesforce. So that way our lead owners know they haven't been active, they're not engaging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to change prospect custom field value status to cold, not active. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this automation rule. All automation rules when created, they will start in paused mode. We will have to enable it for it to start working. A couple of ways to enable the a couple of ways to enable the automation rule is to go to action and resume, or if we click into it, we'll be able to resume automation rules here. I highly suggest with automation rules that we make sure that this is the action we want it to take because if you're assigning them, if you're pushing them into lists, anyone that matches this criteria, it will go ahead and start doing those actions. We can preview the matches here and it will generate a preview for us. Um, we're gonna get a lot of people within here because I haven't sent any emails and they shouldn't be active. And it will change their status, not only within Pardot, but within Salesforce as cold, not active. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit resume automation rules. And we'll start to see prospects populate here. I'm gonna change my view for all prospects because none of these prospects should be active. We'll see up here, total prospects and unique prospects. Basically what that means is it's gonna let us know how many prospects in general has it applied this automation rule. There could be duplicates within here because again, we set it to where even if it matches, so we have total time matches unlimited, it's gonna show that it matched five, six, seven, you know, 10 times on a prospect. But we could also see all unique prospects this rule has affected. So it'll take out the duplicate times that's matched them on this rule, and we'll be able to see the unique prospects right here. Let's go back to our automation rules. So part of automation rules are really, really powerful. They allow you to perform unlimited tasks to really help you achieve your overall marketing goals. A couple of examples of automation rules we can use is we can send marketing content based on a prospect's last activity. So for instance, one of those activity rules that we said is, you know, if a prospect last activity is greater than 30 days ago, we could add a new action 
to send an autoresponder email. So let me find my da -da. send prospect email. And we could choose an email saying, hey, we miss you. Check out these hot deals that we have coming up. And again, it's trying to uh, keep our prospects active. Another thing that we can do for an example of an automation rule is we can add certain prospects to Salesforce campaigns and update their status automatically. So let's just say that a prospect filled out a particular landing page. So let's go prospect landing page was completed successfully. Let's add them to a CRM campaign, which for now, let's just say it's the product webinar with the status of responded. So again, there's unlimited use cases that we can use for our automation rules. One thing to note on this, a lot of instances you will have limitations on how many automation rules you can use or active automation rules. As an FYI, for those of us who have the standard edition of Pardot, we are limited to 50 automation rules, so definitely use them wisely.